Volunteering after retirement can be great for your community. It, it's just fun. Now a new study from UC Davis suggests it could be keeping your brain healthy as well. Our study showed that volunteering in late life is associated with better executive function and verbal episodic memory compared to not volunteering at all. You're not in control of your family history. You're not in control of your age. You can't stop the clock. But you are in control of how you spend your day and you spend your life. So it's about keeping your brain active. It's also about socializing. That keeps you engaged. It keeps you happy. It could potentially lower stress. Stress is also not good for brain health. The study came as good news to these retirees. They're volunteering at the Arboretum at UC Davis. I'm very interested in the cognitive benefits. Uh, my father actually had Alzheimer's, so you know it's something that's always in the back of my mind. And so um, it's another reason why I try to be active. Actually, I exercise every day. Being outside and getting more blood supply going to your brain, more oxygenation, um, it's all good and then you add friendship on top of it so you get all those other endorphins going and it's just something really good that you do for yourself as well as doing for the community. While similar research in the past has focused primarily on white Americans as well as Europeans, this study included a much more diverse group. These are a group of people that have not been studied and but are also at the most risk for dementia and Alzheimer's disease and, and cognitive uh, decline. The next steps of the study will examine what staying active means for Alzheimer's and other cognitive diseases late in life. For now, putting in some extra work appears to be paying off for these retirees. After a couple of hours of working, I go home and I, I take a nap, for sure. But just having done that, I do feel better.